Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at the Future of Flight Aviation Center in Mukilteo. And joining me right now, Matt Watrous, who is Executive Director, Boys and Girls Club, Washington State Association. So nice to have you on the program. It's good to be here. Many people know about Boys and Girls Club, but for those who don't, tell us the services uh, you provide briefly and how many you serve here in the state. Sure, we have 20 Boys and Girls Clubs organizations across Washington. And in those organizations, we serve almost 80,000 members a year. Wow, 80,000 members. 80,000 members. way more than putting a bunch of people in Safeco Field. That's right. At 151 locations, and we serve with a variety of programming, core areas of arts, character and leadership de development, academic success, success, healthy lifestyles, and good character and citizenship. You have a fantastic program. I love this program. Very, very inspiring. Youth of the Year recognizes youth in each club for their outstanding contributions to family and community. So if a youth is nominated from their club, what is the process that then happens for them to go sure. on? Well, nationally, there's 4,000 clubhouses. So there's 4,000 nominees. And in Washington State, we had 15 this year who were nominated at the local level. And, they, and they're chosen from their club as part of a youth recognition program for their demonstrations of character and leadership in the areas of leadership in the family, overcoming obstacles, academic achievement. Um, They're really boys, inspiring stories. Goal too. setting, future, future goals in career and in college. And so they're chosen at the local level, and then 15 of them came together at Quest Field this year in March. And I want to thank KeyBank, they sponsored that event and that program for us. And the, the kids went through the ringer. They, were, they gave three minute speeches to a VIP panel of judges. They, um, they were interviewed in a speed dating style with these judges, one after the other for in 10 minute interviews. And then ultimately they gave their speech at a dinner that night. Mm. And those judges had a tough job of selecting the Washington State Youth of the Year winner. And uh, what makes it a little bit of a twist is we don't know that night who wins. The governor announces the winner at a special reception at her, at her mansion the following morning with legislators and, and VIPs. So it's a really phenomenal experience for the youth and a, and a great experience. They're all phenomenal kids. So if someone wins state, they then go on and compete regionally? Yes. So this year's winner is Kanan Bell. He's from Tacoma. Great kid. He wants to follow in the footsteps of Dr. Martin Luther King. He's going mm -hmm. to, planning on going to Morehouse College in Atlanta. He wants to start his own nonprofit. He's lights ahead, light years ahead of where, where I am, as a, as a, and he's a young 17-year-old. And he'll compete in Los Angeles. He'll get a chance to go to Disney World, or Disneyland, excuse me, and, and have a fun time. He'll also go through a, a rigorous judging format with nine states, with nine kids from nine states. And then, then the winner from that region will go to D.C. and compete with five other regional winners. And in the last five years, we've had two regional winners from Washington State. Which is amazing. Which is phenomenal. Which is cool. And in the last three decades, you've had three actually win three national, national Youth of the Year? Correct, yes. One from Snohomish County and one from King County. And the other one was also from Snohomish County, I believe. Wow, so, incredible. Yeah. It's really amazing to hear their stories, what the challenges that each uh, one has overcome. I've, I've, I've been a part of it before. I've been lucky enough to attend one of the Youth of the yes. Year programs, and I, I love it. Talk about um, a call to action. How can people get involved and help support these youth? Well, certainly, Boys and Girls Coast is not immune to the economic environment that we've been, been experiencing. We have a lot of strong supporters, and I would encourage folks in the community to get involved. We have 151 clubhouses around the state. There's probably one in your community volunteer, attend an event, get involved in, in different ways. If you're an alumni of the Boys and Girls Clubs in Washington, I would encourage you to go to our website, check it out, and uh, we are doing an alumni survey. So you can go on our Facebook page or our website and follow through on an alumni survey to, to report your experiences in the Boys and Girls Clubs. And we found nationally that uh, those surveys are f the phenomenal results. 57% of respondents said the club saved their life. 92% said they, they give back in their community and are happy where they are in their adult life. I mean, phenomenal results from folks who have been involved in the Boys and Girls Club. So there's a lot of ways to get involved. Yeah, fabulous service. Well, Matt Watrous, Executive Director, Boys and Girls Club, Washington State Association. We'll keep our fingers crossed as we compete regionally in California. Yep. All right. Thanks Great. so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news at the top of the hour. Hope you can stay with us.